Hello there. I am super happy to show you four different workflows using GripTapes framework in Config UI to create amazing, very powerful and customizable text prompts for image generation. Let's check it out. The first one is a basic image description. The second one, how we can create more details. The third one, how we can actually extract some elements. And the fourth one, how we can combine image descriptions from different images into one. Let's build a workflow really quick. You can double click and go to UI and type image description, grab the node and connect the image into the input image of the image description. Double click and type agent, make sure it's a create grip tip agent. You want to grab the output into the input of the agent, double click and create the rules. Now grab the rules node and connect it into the rule set of the agent itself. Last but not least, double click and type text. Go down and search for grip tape display text. And you wanna output into the input. Now we want to give some rules to the agent. Here I'm gonna say you are an expert at creating amazing cinematic text prompts for film like high quality images at as much detail as possible. Then on the agent itself, I'm asking it to summarize the entire text and gave it an example of how you can actually create a good prompt. After that, we can run and see what we get. And there you have it. That's our new beautiful prompt. The last part is that you want to connect the prompt that you just generated into one of your workflows. In this case, I have a basic image generation one. For that, we need an extra node Double click, type click, text and code from group tape. It's very straightforward, output to input. And now the output of the text and code goes into the positive prompt of the case sampler and also the clip from the checkpoint model. And there you have it. Now we can run. Now let's go back to the other workflows to see what else we can do. Perfect. Let's see what I did with the first one. We can see we have just like the example I just described, a image description, then rule set, the grip tip agent. It creates a very interesting prompt fitted into image generation. As you can see, there are differences between those two images. Let's try something else to make it look more like the original image. Now, instead of having only one image description, I have three. So one, two, and three. Then I am using this amazing merge text node that will allow me to combine all those image description ones in the agent. On the first description, I have describes the face in detail. The second one says describe the camera angle. And the third one, it says, describe the background in detail. So after that, with the same agent, with the same rules, I get a little bit more extended uh, image description. Then I fit it into the same image generation. And look at that. I have a little bit more similarities between the new one and the original image. On the third one, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to extract the background only. So, in the first image description, you can see describe only the environment, not people. And the second one, it says describe only the time of day. We run with the same agent, the same rules. We get a different prompt. And there you have it. The image, it's only the background. It's not identical, but, you know, there's definitely room there to play around with the settings and the rule sets and, and things like that. What if you wanted to try something even a little bit more complex? Now I have three different images. For the first image description, I am asking it to describe only the car. The second one is just the background. And the third one, it's the lighting and mood color. After that, the same approach, merge the text into the prompt. I'm using the same rule sets, the same agent. It creates a highly image of a single seater, but then describes the background and then describes the lighting, which is amazing. 
Then we fit it into the same image generation workflow. After that, you can upscale it and generate something like this. Remember, this is just one way to use it, but there are so many different workflows inside of Comfy UI. We can't wait to see you try and create amazing things. Thank you.